SRBG and the crumbling of the matrix. What you are witnessing now as I speak is the end of a simulation. As time go on, as it gets faster and faster, as we vibe higher and higher, we are about to start witnessing things that we could never even imagine. Now, I told you that just like the tarot card reader, they read the cards. I read the TV, man. Also, the internet, social media, it talks to me. I told you that it's only two reasons why anything would be aired on television. One is to program the NPCs. Two is for the powers that used to be to communicate. Let's talk about some blood fuel, man. Let's let's talk about the blood fuel program. Over here at SR and BG, I talk about the blood fuel program. I've proven time after time that before they want a movie to come out and be successful, an album, a world series. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Dodgers. If they want anything like that to come out and be successful, it has to be blood that fuel that. Speaking of the Los Angeles Dodgers winning the World Series, we already knew that over here because a week and a half ago, I talked about Fernando Venezuela being a part of the blood fuel, dying at 63 a couple of days before the World Series. So if I was a gambling man and I wasn't with the most high, I, I would have betted on that. I would have made a lot of money, man. But I can't because the most high don't want us to abuse our powers, man. I told you that Bushwick Bill, he was taken out on June 9th, 2019. And on June 21st, 2019, the 2019 Chucky came out. A couple of days. A couple of weeks, okay? A couple of weeks after Bushwick Bill was taken out. Remember, Bushwick Bill was the Chucky back in the 90s with the Ghetto Boys. He was Chucky. I told you about Cameron Boyce on Jesse, Disney's Jesse. He was also on Descendants. He was taken out on July 6, 2019, and on August 2, 2019, not even a month later, Descendants 3 came out. It was successful. The Chucky, it was successful. What about Wednesday? Remember, Netflix's Wednesday. The first Wednesday was Lisa Loring. Now, Wednesday was a hit on Netflix. It aired on November 23rd, 2022. And a month and a half later, on January 28th, 2023, Lisa Loring was no more. I made a video talking about Christopher Reeves. You see, Christopher Reeves was cursed because he was playing a role. See, this Superman role had too much damn energy, just like the Joker role. That's why they say that only Jack Nicholson can play the Joker role. Superman. It was too much of a lie. Superman did not look like Christopher Reeves. So Christopher Reeves had to be cursed with the opposite of Superman. I made a video about that. A couple of days later, they came out on Good Day America, Good Morning America. It was going to be a documentary made called The Christopher Reeves Story. It came out 
on December 11th, 2024, a couple of weeks ago. In the UK, it comes out tomorrow, November 1st, 2024. If you really look at the numbers, 10, 11, that's 111. If you really look at the numbers on when it can't come out tomorrow in the UK, 11, 1, that's 111. But to top it off, who's the blood fuel in this? DJ Clark Kent just passed away a couple of weeks ago. I mean, a couple of days ago. My bad. A couple of days ago, DJ Clark Kent just passed away, man. The Matrix is crumbling. We could see their blueprints. It's not like they can trick us no more. I'm telling you, if I was a gambling man, I will have millions and millions of dollars because I can, I can, I can understand how they talk. They talk through the TV. All of these television shows, the commercials, the songs, the songs tell you about it, man. Listen, I can go on and on with this blood fuel program, but let me switch it up real quick and get on this young thug. Because I made another video some weeks ago talking about how this whole young thug case is a reality show, man. It's all a reality show. And a lot of NPCs and low vibers, they participated in this Young Thug versus the state of Georgia reality show. You know what? You know how much money the state of Georgia made on this case? This was the longest running case in Georgia. And now you know a, a guy by the name of Lil Woody. Not only that, it's another guy out there. His name is Shamar, and he got a dance out. It's like the number one dance in the country, man. And Young Thug. Nine times out of 10, he's about to get time served, 15 years probation, and he's about to be a free man. I told you. It's all a show, man. And what, once you could, once you could see how they talk, once you could figure it out, man, I'm telling you. They weak, man. They weak. I wasn't even going to make this video, but I was looking at the Young Thug case and I said, hell no. Also, the DJ Clark Kent. Am I making sense? Is this like a coincidence and stuff? I I'm giving you... People that you see that be taken out. Now let me switch it up again, all right? Let's take a, let's talk about them being taken out. How do they get taken out? 